Wondering what's on the Elizabeth Blackburn Sciences exam? Stick around and I'll walk you through everything you need to know. Hi, I'm JC, and I've been tutoring students over the past five years for the JMSS, EBS, Selective and Scholarship Entrance exams in Victoria. Having gone through the process myself and having helped thousands to get into their dream school through these videos and tuition, my team and I have decided to support even more aspiring applicants through a new and improved learning platform that boosts confidence when preparing for selective and scholarship exams. Check it out at bigbrain.au to sit a free JMS Lick test to find out your learning gaps. The Elizabeth Blackburn Sciences, or EBS program, part of the University High School, offers one intake per year for students entering year 11 or year 12. The selection process involves an online entrance exam administered by EduTest, followed by group activities and an interview for shortlisted candidates. If you're currently in year 10, you'll sit the exam for year 11 entry. If you're in year 11, you can apply for year 12 entry. The exam is typically held in July, where both year levels will sit the exams at the same time, and applications are submitted via EduTest. Now, let's break down the exam structure so you know exactly what to expect. The EBIS entrance exam consists of four multiple choice tests, mathematics, science reasoning, verbal reasoning, and reading comprehension. There is no writing task for the entrance exams, and it will instead be held during the interview stage. These tests are grouped into two categories, tests of ability, which measure your potential, tests of achievement, which assess your performance. Now let's break down each exam at a high level. For a deeper dive into each section, feel free to check out our detailed resources and the new assessment guide breakdowns coming soon. Mathematics is a 60 question, 30 minute, multiple choice test that assesses year level mathematical knowledge plus a little extra challenge to see how well you apply concepts beyond the standard curriculum. The key topics we've identified in this exam include 17 topics, basics, algebra, thirds, indices, equations, relationships, nonlinear relationships, Pythagoras theorem, trigonometry, geometry, probability, statistics, financial maths, rates and proportion, measurement, kinematics, sequences and series, and logarithm. The best way to prepare for the mathematics exam is to learn all the year level appropriate knowledge. As for entrance into year 11, I recommend learning up until year 10 content. Just note, the exam changes year by year, and these are mainly just topics or questions my past students have seen. Science reasoning is a 30 questions, 30 minute, multiple choice test that assesses your observational, analytical, and problem-solving skills in a scientific context. The key topics include biology, chemistry, physics, geology, astronomy, and experiment. The key question types include drawing conclusions, graph analysis, table analysis, estimation and scale, flow charts, contour lines, cross-sections, science equations, and experiments. For this assessment, I highly recommend learning up until year 10 for all the topics listed. This will help you to build up your knowledge in science. I then recommend trying to sit ICAS or science competition papers as they are most similar to science reasoning. Verbal reasoning is a 60 question, 30 minute, multiple choice test that measures your ability to analyze and comprehend complex verbal information. The key topics we've identified in this exam include 12 topics, synonyms, antonyms, four words alike, box words alike, foreign languages, two statements, analogies, information deduction, syllogisms, anagrams, rebus puzzles, and worded pyramids. I highly recommend creating your own index book, which is a notebook with pages labeled A to Z that will be filled in when you encounter new words. This exam focuses a lot on vocabulary, so building it up as best as you can will help you to prepare. You can also start checking out dictionary websites that teach a new word a day. Reading comprehension is a 50 question, 30 minute, multiple choice test that evaluates your ability to read and analyze written information efficiently. You'll need to extract key details, understand arguments, and infer meanings from scientific and non-scientific text. There are seven key topics, with the last one having the majority of the question. Implied words, sentence correction, truth statement, word replacement, sentence transformation, proverb inferencing, extracts or paragraph questions, which include expository, descriptions, narratives, persuasive, articles, editorials, memoirs, and poetry questions. The best way to prepare for this exam is to read different types of texts and answering questions about what you've read. For example, asking what happened in the few paragraphs you read, 
what language choices were being used, and why it was chosen. A solid understanding of English grammar is also needed to excel as the other components of this exam include fixing sentences, spelling errors, or punctuation errors. Here's how you can prepare effectively. Take a free diagnostic test at bigbrain.au to pinpoint your strengths and weaknesses. Access exclusive exam strategies, question types, and study resources tailored to your given school. If you made it to this part of the video, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at jace at jacetutoring.com for tuition inquiries or team at bigbrain.au for platform related questions. Best of luck with your EBS preparation and I'll see you in the next video. So if you're aiming for 